Okay, you're welcome to class today. And what we'll be doing today is we're going to be wrapping this Ankara note pad. We're going to be wrapping this note pad, Ankara. Now, to do this, all we need is a note uh, pad. We know that there are various types of note pad. We have some with very soft cover, and we also have some with very strong cover. This particular one is with a very strong cover. So, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be removing the cover, and then we're going to be wrapping the Ankara. So, the first thing to do is, you know, we have the front side and the back side. Now, some books does not have this ring. The books are usually complete. So in that case, you don't even have a problem. That just makes it easier. Just place your fabric on one side. What we we'll just simply do now is we just need to leave allowance on all four sides. And to do that, you can simply just free and sketch or use your ruler to measure. But the free and sketch is just fine because we're still going to be trimming it off. So I'm just going to sketch freely. And then we flip this over to the other side to create a rectangle. So that is what we are going to be using for this project. After doing that, if you don't have a pen or anything to mark, or you just don't feel like it's okay to, you can simply just use your scissors. Place your book this way, and then use your scissors to cut it out. This particular project does not require any form of special um, um, sewing or machine or you don't need any of that this is all you need to finish your project now if you check this particular ring we have a little opening there so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the back of this book from that particular opening so i removed it like this i'm going to do the same thing for the other side so i'll remove the other one too Then I'll keep my notes aside. So you can see this part has some punches. So we're still going to be punching this old part. But the first thing to do now is to turn on the right side of our, of our book and apply gold. The gold we're going to be using for this project is top bone. This particular white top bone is best because even when your fabric gets soiled, it will, when it dries off, it will clear. It's like clear. It will not leave any white mark on your fabric. So it's advisable. It's a very, very you know, perfect um, gum to use for this particular project. So I'm just going to be pouring a little bit of gum on my fabric. And with your spreader, you can use this board scrap. You can get the brush. I use the brush. Anything that suits you. Just spread the gum all over your book. Spread the gum all over. So I usually give my gum one or two coated, but preferably you can do it twice. It just makes it you know stick properly. And in this case, you don't really have to wait for your gum to dry. You want the fabric to absorb the gum itself. So just spread it out properly and then flip it on your fabric. And don't forget your allowance. Make sure you leave enough allowance. next thing to do is to spread it out properly you can use your hand in fact your hand is your best tool in doing this to spread it out properly so that it's as smooth as possible and if your fabric is wrong for initially please iron it before you start your project iron your fabric before you start this project so that the creases on your work will be as minimal as possible so after doing that i'm just going to cut it into two separate parts. And then I'll see apply gum on this four sides and I'm going to wrap. But this time around you're wrapping the you're applying the gum on the edges below.
can do this for any kind of book. It doesn't have to be a new notebook. It can be one of your diaries, it can be your church book or your journal, anything at all. Anything at all. Any book at all that has art cover, preferably. So you just wrap, no mix. So if you don't have top bond at hand and you have the normal frosted gum that we use for bag making, you can also use that too. The only thing I don't like about a frosted is when you're using a fabric that has like um, white or any other color, because the color of the gum is yellowish, it can simply stain and change the color of the other fabric. So that is why I don't advise you use a frosted for um, this particular kind of project. Then the next thing to do is to make sure that my edges are in place. So you know the way we do it now. Not it. Here we go. So you secure your edges. Now, if these edges are proving stubborn, another thing you can use, you can use normal gum, you can use super glue. So in this case, I'm going to be using my FO stick just to secure the edges. But this part is absolutely optional. To avoid this in the first place, you remember we did not apply gum on the fabric itself. You can simply just apply the gum on the fabric itself, just to avoid this particular edge. So but I'm just going to open it up a little bit and then apply just a very tiny touch of gum on the edges for a very strong hold so you can see this is glued already but i'm just going to open it up because i'm trying to secure it so that it will stay firm okay so i'm just going to do the same thing for the other side so secure your all right so we've done that now we can't leave this this way people do but it's not advisable it doesn't look presentable so cover this up we're going to be using our a4 paper this is the plain a4 paper that they use to check the book itself that's what they use to, to provide so what we just need fold this to two and take the actual measurements of our notes so if I place it on my notes now, I can see that, in fact, it is almost the same measurement with my notes itself. The difference is just about 0.25 inches. So what I'm just going to do is, you can see the way I'm folding it. I'm just going to fold like this, and then I'll tear this part off. You can see. So I'm just going to tear that part off. And I've opened this open and I separate it. So after separating now, you just apply a final touch of gum all over this part. To cover it. In the craft business, there is no stereotype. There's this other gum, the foreign gum that I use. It's called Mod Podge. I really love Mod Podge a lot because just the little quantity is enough for you to. But it's quite expensive as fast to get this part of Nigeria. So 
I used to get it from crafty store when you were still very close by uh, at home back then, but now they are in Jerry, so uh, Jerry is quite far, it's not easily accessible as Oba used to be. So that was how I swapped, I started using top of this particular product. So I'll come back to this. But first, you have to now I'm trying to feel the edges to realize where my punch is going to be. So this is where my punch is going to be. So I'm just going to cover it with my paper. Okay, so you can see nice and neatly done. Even neat as if that the way the book came initially. So we're just going to do the same thing for the other side. So our notepad, our kind notepad is ready. So this is what it looks like. Don't forget to smooth it out. I think I left this one without smoothing it down. So I'm done. Don't make this big punch for me. So I'm done with this. I'm just going to ensure it is smooth as neat as possible. So I think I'm going to be using this 2.5 punch. So what I'm just going to do now is to trace the holes. I can feel to check very well. You can still see those boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark those points. why this particular design is harder so but if we were to wrap a notebook that does not have these holes in it, in it initially it wouldn't have it would have been done by now so there won't be any need to wrap it in so i'll just do the same for the other side So we'll proceed to punch. Can I see what my punch is looking like? If you're punching, the best thing to do is to let your your gum let it dry. So the reason I'm not waiting is because of um, just for the sake of this tutorial. So now we can get it done. So you just let it dry, and once it's properly dried, in that case your paper won't be squeezing and tearing. So. So we are done punching this. Do the same for the other side.
Okay, so we are ready. We we'll just go back to our notepad and then we fix our books. Our books. So I'm just going to follow the goals. Normally, please let it dry first. We will have issues if it is not properly dry because paper will start tearing and ripping out. So, but once it's dry, you won't have issues with this project. So I'm just going to go back and then I'm going to push it through those holes back. Yeah. Okay, so I've been able to fix the first side now. So I've been able to fix it. So by the time I'm fixing the other side, I'm making the parasite side face each other. So I'm no longer going through because that's to go through. If you check very well, you see there's a part that is a bit pointed, like that of a safety pin or something. So that is where you're going to go through your um, notes. So you won't be able to go through this flat side. So in order to do that, we're just going to go through the same process again. It's a bit, you know, serious and stressful, but it's worth it at the end of the day. So I'm just going to go through the same process all over again, inserting it one by one into those things until I finally get to the end. Okay, so now that we've been able to pass the two covers through, don't forget you have to push these parts together. So that's your own way of closing it up so that it will not come off. If you forget to close it, I'm sorry, the back of your, your cover is going to just come out when you least expect it. So you have to push the iron together in a way that it is somehow intertwined. So if you check very well, you see that this part is still open whereas this part is closed. So you have to close it up like this so that it won't be coming out. And the only way to do that is just to press with your fingers. Just press it down to secure it. Okay, so we are done now and our notes pad is ready.